everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today you're gonna come along with me in one of the smallest but most difficult DIYs I have ever made. A piggy bank that actually is a frog bank. <laughs> My first idea was trying to use the salt dough, but spoiler alert, it didn't work. But in any case, I'm gonna leave you the recipe because you can do nice things with it in any case. Good morning! Today I wanna make salty dough. I got the receipt and we will need one mug of salt, two mugs of flour and one mug of warm water. So, let's start. We got our salt, our water, and our flour. When it reaches the right consistency, you can work the dough with your hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the perfect consistency. My plan right now is to blow this balloon, to cover it around with the dough salt and then to blow it up so it will remain in shape. I decided to use a balloon because of course before even starting I scrolled Pinterest and between all the ideas I chose the one that was easier to recreate with a giant belly and some details. Time to use the rolling pin. More or less, let's shape it with a little bit of water, I say. This is so much fun! <laughs> let's bounce it, let's bounce it, let's bounce, bounce, bounce it, bounce, 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 bounce it. Hey! It's not that bad, right? I made two balls that will be the eyes. It is already super cute. Till this point the things were great, but then I don't know why the dough started to melt down. Maybe it was too heavy for his own weight. In general, I think it's better to use the dough, the salty dough, for things that are too these with not too much height. Okay, guys, I don't know why, but the result is super saggy. I don't know why it's still... It's coming down. I don't know. So because I almost used all the flour and all the salt of my house, I decided to stick to the plan. I thought I could save it. I even baked it. I put it in the oven 120 degrees. Then, thank God I had to face the truth, it was terrible. And inside the oven, the balloon lost even more air, so it was totally melted. Then I tried another process with the clay, but spoiler alert, it didn't work as well. We will try with a second material, air hardening clay. I have seen some videos, if I do rolls, like one upon the other and then I smooth everything down. Something like this and then I will do a roll. Maybe in this way you can make plates or you can make vases but it's not good for a frog bank that is a kind of a sphere, so it is a closed one. So I went for attempt number three, that was a combination between the first technique and the clay. The plan was using a balloon to make a steady shape with newspaper and glue, so that the clay could adhere into something. Water, and then I'm adding vinylic glue. Then I'm gonna use this balloon and pieces of newspaper. This is the result. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. Let's put it outside in our 40 degrees Greek weather. Mm. 
it's a little bit wonky, but it kind of worked. Boys, what do you think? <laughs> now it was finally the time to cover the newspaper with the clay. I'm making the clay super thin and I'm trying to attach it step by step in this way. Now to smooth it down, also because it's becoming too dry, I'm using a little bit of water and you just work, 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 work till when it's smooth. Since some parts are not strong enough, as you can see, I will let it dry and I'm gonna do a second layer. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna close the clay. I'm gonna put it in a bag and I am gonna place it in the fridge. I can't believe that we are at this point, so let's move it out with another layer. Got it from the fridge. Fresh and perfectly smooth. So let's start. To make it easier, I wanted to do a sort of an oval shape and attach upon it two eyes, two chunky back legs, and two arms. Let's try to do now the eyes. So I will try to place them something like here. I'm gonna smooth the clay here to be attached. And after waiting the second layer to be hard, we got the shape, the eyes, and it is super dry. Perfect. So we're gonna make one leg here, one leg here, maybe the two arms, and then I'm gonna paint. For reference, I used one entire clay to make this. I'm exactly going to do something like this with a little bit of water. <sighs> Sounds great. Ah! Now I wanna absolutely do the two feet. So I made two balls and then I squeezed it and then by cutting. Ooh, yeah. I actually think that I made a really nice job. I am going to do exactly the same with the arms. I'm kind of becoming obsessed by it. <laughs> As a last detail, I decided to add also the mouth. Seriously, I never thought it could go that good. Like, it's a proper frog! <sighs> now I'm just terrified of painting it. My plan is to do the belly one color and all the rest in another one. First thing first, I'm sketching with a pencil, the eyes, and I think I'm gonna use a marker. Voila! Woohoo! And finally, time to color. What do we think? I think it's the right tone for a base. The mouth, I'm doing it a little bit harsher, so that it's a kind of a lipstick. Ta-da! Okay, guys, but from the front, I love it. From the back, it's a kind of boring, so I'm thinking of doing these things. Now I am gonna sprint everything with a varnish. I already tested the uh, watercolors with this and everything is okay. What happened in my previous project is the marker. The marker with this chalk varnish is 
melting. So I'm gonna cover the eyes with this. I'm gonna spray everything and then up on the varnish, I'm gonna do the details. Eyes covered, we are ready. Okay. My eyes! I am scared to hell to do the details, so I'm trying to do it with a pencil. Try a one that is not so visible. Terrible idea. I hate it, so I'm gonna use white paint for the wall and hopefully I can paint it over it. So now there was the before color that was much more yellow and the now color a little bit more green. You know what? Maybe in the end it's okay. And here is the final product after many, many attempts. Thank you so much for watching, that's it also for this video. As per usual, if you want to support the Saranena channel, you can like this video and you can subscribe, is the red button down there. See you in the next one, bye! Matchy matchy! Wait a minute, a little, little, I think it's working. Okay. No! To make a shape, she has to do shape. Let's blend, 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 blend.